Hey, class, I hope everybody's doing all right today. Uh, we are still talking about the Cold War, and today we're going to be talking about the space race. The space race was a show of power, okay? Uh, it was between the United States and the Soviet Union, and they wanted to see who had the best technology, who could get to space first. I mean, several different things. Uh, a lot of people say the United States won the won the space race because they got to the moon before the Soviet Union. But by 1969, when that happened, uh, it really, the Soviet Union had already done everything first before that. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, but that, uh, the space race was, was a race to see who could get in, do a lot of different things for space first. And it was, it was, it was to see who had the best technology, who had the best scientists between the US and the Soviet Union. And that's what we're talking about, the Cold War. This was all took place during the Cold War. So, like I said, during the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union, they, they had a competition to see who had the best technology in space, uh, who could put the first manned spacecraft in orbit, who would be the first to walk on the moon. It was considered important because it showed the world which country had the best science, best technology, and the best economic system. Uh, that's what this was. That's what the space race was. What was it? During the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a competition to see who had the best technology in space. This included such events as who could put the first manned sp spacecraft into orbit and who would be first to walk on the moon. The space race was considered important because it showed the world which country had the best science, technology, and economic system. All right. The race began after World War II, both the United States and Soviet Union, they realized it's very important, this rocket research is, and it would be very important for the military, all right? So they recruited top rocket scientists from Germany to help with the, all this research. Both sides were making progress in rocket technology very soon after that, and, uh, but it, it was very important to them for the military. That's why they were, they were doing all this rocket research. The race begins. After World War II, both the United States and the Soviet Union realized how important rocket research would be to the military. They each recruited the top rocket scientists from Germany to help their, with their research. Soon both sides were making progress in rocket technology. All right, so it really began in 1955, all right? Both countries announced that they would soon be launching these satellites into orbit, into space, and... Uh, so the Soviets took this when the U.S. announced theirs. Hey, they took it as a challenge. So they established this commission whose goal was to beat the U.S. and put a satellite into space. The space race began to continue. The space race began in 1955 when both countries announced that they would soon be launching satellites into orbit. The Soviets took the U.S. announcement as a challenge and even established a commission whose goal was to beat the U.S. and put a satellite into space. All right, so on October the 4th, 1957, two years after this announcement, the Russians placed the first sat successful satellite in the orbit. It was called the Sputnik, or the Sputnik 1. The, the, so they had taken the lead in the space race. And, and the Russians did a whole lot of things with the space, the space race first before the United States did. And that's why I said, I don't think, you know, a lot of people say that the United States won with them getting to the moon and all. But by that time, the Russians weren't really trying anymore. They had done all these things first. Uh, uh, in my eyes, I believe the Russians won this won this uh, space race. But the ver the very first satellite they launched was called Sputnik One. If you look right here, Sputnik One here. Uh, they they took the lead in the space race because they did this just two years afterwards, and it was. Uh, the Americans launched their first satellite four months after the Russians did, and it was called the Explorer 1. Right here's the Explorer 1. Sputnik. On October 4, 1957, the Russians placed the first successful satellite into orbit. It was called Sputnik 1. The Russians had taken the lead in the space race. The Americans successfully launched their first satellite four months later called the Explorer 1. The Russians also, and I don't mention it in here, the Russians also had the first living being in space okay they sent a dog to space before the united States. i can't remember the name of the dog 
I don't have it in here. But uh, they also spent, sent the first living being into space with that. So uh, the first man in orbit, that was another one of these goals that they had, try to get the first person in orbit. And the Soviets again won this race. They put the first man into space on April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin, this man right here. He was the first man to orbit the Earth in a spacecraft called Vostok 1. And it was three weeks later, the U.S. launched their Freedom 7, and astronaut Alan Shepard, this man right here, he became the first American in space. No, that's not Alan Shepard. That's John Glenn. All right. So they launched them in space, but he did not orbit the Earth like Gagarin did. All right. It wasn't. It was nearly a year later on, on 1962 when John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth on Friendship 7. So the Russians, again, were winning this race. The first man in orbit. The Soviets again won the race for putting the first man into space. On April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin was the first man to orbit the Earth in a spacecraft Vostok 1. Three weeks later, the U.S. launched Freedom 7, and astronaut Alan Shepard became the first American in space. Shepard's craft did not orbit the Earth, however. It was nearly a year later, on February 20th, 1962, when the first American, John Glenn, orbited the Earth on, on Friendship 7 spacecraft. All right. So the Americans were embarrassed because, honestly, the Russians had been kicking their rear ends. All right? Uh, they were behind in the space race. John F. Kennedy in 1961... He went to Congress and he announced, hey, he wanted to be the first to put a man on the moon. All right, because that hadn't been done before. So, and he felt this was important for the country and the Western world, and the Apollo moon program was launched after this. We're going to talk more about John F. Kennedy later on. Race to the moon. The Americans were embarrassed at being behind the space race. In 1961, President Kennedy went to Congress and announced that he wanted to be the first to put a man on the moon. He felt this was important for the country and the Western world. The Apollo moon program was launched. So the Gemini program was also another thing. In conjunction with this Apollo program, the U.S. launched the Gemini program, and it would help develop technology for the Apollo spacecraft. And uh, under the Gemini program, the Americans learned how to change the orbit of the spacecraft, spent significant time in orbit. Uh, they learned how the human body would be infect, uh, affected while they were in space. And they also brought two spacecraft together in a rendezvous in space and went on the first spacewalks out outside of the spacecraft. So they did all these things with the, with the Gemini program. Uh, and a lot of technology we use today came from stuff that was from uh, spacecraft or from stuff that was made for space. Uh, some technology we use today is, is made from that. And we'll, I'll get more into that as we go along to, uh, we're talking about this. I'll talk about it in class. Um, so, but anyway, uh, the Gemini program and the Apollo program went hand in hand. The Gemini program. In conjunction with the Apollo program, the U.S. launched a Gemini program, which would develop technology for use on the Apollo spacecraft. Under the Gemini program, the Americans learned how to change the orbit of a spacecraft, spent significant time in orbit to learn how a human body would be affected, brought two spacecraft together in a rendezvous in space and also went on the first spacewalks outside of a spacecraft. All right. So after many years of experiments, test flights, training, the Apollo 11 spacecraft was launched into space on July 16, 1969. This was eight years after President JFK had announced, hey, we want to be the first to put a man on, on the moon. The crew included astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and uh, and the moon. The trip to the moon took three days. So, three days. These are these are the three gentlemen that went into uh, space or the first to walk on the moon. Man on the moon. After many years of experiments, test flights, and training, the Apollo Eleven spacecraft was launched into space on July 16, 1969. The crew included astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The trip to the moon took three days. All right. So they got there when they when they arrived on the moon, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, they moved to the lunar module module. And it was called the Eagle. So they began their descent onto the moon. There were some malfunctions with it, and Armstrong had to land this module manually on the moon. 
On July 20th, 1969, it landed on the moon and Neil Armstrong stepped outside and became the first man to walk on the moon. And as he was stepping out, he said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind as he took his first step onto the moon. Man on the moon continued. Upon arriving, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin moved to the lunar module called the Eagle and began their descent to the moon. There were some malfunctions and Armstrong had to land the module manually. On July 20th, 1969, the Eagle landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong stepped outside and became the first man to walk on the moon. With his first step on the moon, Armstrong said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. All right. So with the Gemini and the Apollo programs, the U.S. had taken a lead in the space race. But like I said, by this time, the U.S. And, and the Soviet, the Soviet was were not doing. They did a whole lot of things first before the United States. So they weren't trying. Their main goal wasn't to get to the moon. So who won the space race? Some people say the United States. Some people say the Russians. In my own opinion, I believe the Soviets did because they did a lot of things before the United States did. And by that point, when they got to the moon, the United States did. Russians weren't really trying to get there, if, if that makes sense. So, uh, in 1975, the relationship between the U.S. and Soviet were beginning to unthaw from this Cold War. So, the first Soviet and U.S. joint mission took place. It was Apollo Soyuz project, and the space race was effectively over at this point. The end of the space race. With the Gemini and Apollo programs, the U.S. had taken a huge lead in the space race. In July of 1975, with relations between the U.S. and the Soviet Union beginning to thaw, the first U.S.-Soviet joint mission occurred with the apollo Soyuz project. The space race was effectively over. All right, comprehension question. The space race was part of what war? What war have we been talking about? A, the Cold War, B, the Civil War, or C, the Vietnam War? We have been talking about the Cold War which was a war that was not fought directly. They never actually fought each other. All right, the Cold War, what the space race is part of. We have a winner. Number two, what was the name of the first satellite launched into orbit? It was launched by the Russians. What was it? Was it A, Rover, B, Sputnik, or C, the Challenger? It was B, the Sputnik. Sputnik 1 was launched first into orbit before the Americans did it. Number three, which country first put a manned spacecraft into orbit? Was it A, America, B, no one, or C, the Soviet Union? It was C, the Soviet Union first put the manned spacecraft into orbit, and it, and it orbited around the Earth, it did. And that was Yuri Gagarin, this man right here, the Soviet Union. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number four, who was the first American to orbit the Earth? The first American to orbit Earth was it A, John Glenn. B, Miss Sharon, or C, Alan Shepard. It was A, John Glenn. John Glenn, Alan Shepard went up and was the first to go into space, but he did not orbit the Earth. It was John Glenn who first orbited the Earth. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. No, it was not Miss Sharon, although she looks pretty cool in her, in her spacecraft, uh, her spacesuit there. All right. What was the name of the lunar module that landed on the moon? The lunar module, the one that landed on the moon, and Buzz Aldrin and and uh, Neil Armstrong got out, and Neil Armstrong said, "One small, small step for man, one giant leap for mankind." What was the name of that module? Was it A, the Leopard, B, the Eagle, or C, the Fly? It was B, the Eagle. The Eagle has landed. What, ding, is, ding, what ding. they said when they first yeah, landed on the moon. All right, class, that is all for the space race. We'll be back next time. We'll be talking about JFK going over his biography and then we'll talk about the bay of pigs and the cuban missile crisis and there's lots of lots of stuff to cover in the cold war so i will see you back next time you all have a good day